Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today I'm going to be showing you guys safe materials such as this here, and unsafe materials such as this, and such as this. And uh, we're going to be going into how you can test these materials to see if they are safe or not safe in a little bit more of an advanced way here. First up, what you want to do is go to Google, type in laser safe materials at the top, scroll down past all these sponsors or ads if you have them and then go down to Cleveland Public Library they have a really good resource on this click on never cut these materials it'll pop up to this PDF here um, read this over this is all the materials that are not safe and that are safe so the top page is the not safe one we're gonna be covering like PVC and ABS for example in this video um, but there's also a few other ones that you may run into down the line. So read that over and then down here is the actual safe materials such as wood that I showed at the beginning like this plywood here. And then um, the unsafe materials like I said for PVC is going to be like this vinyl flooring or these vinyl records here. And I'm going to show you an alternative that you can do to these vinyl records in just a second and how you can test them out as well. Um, but if you scroll down a little bit further on that sheet, you'll see etching as well. You can etch like glass or ceramic tile. Um, these are really cool things that you can etch, but you probably won't be able to cut through with your Glowforge. So just a heads up on that. So uh, I don't want to bore you in the video. Take your time. Read over the things that you can or cannot cut in here because these can submit uh, um, or emit actual gases that can harm you or corrode your machine so don't cut these materials for sure and if you need to cut a material that's unknown to you you can actually test it with what's called the copper test so for example let's take these vinyl flooring planks and uh, say you wanted to cut one of these because it has like the stick uh, the sticky side on the back so you can add it to a project it would make for a cool looking project but you're not sure if it actually contains real vinyl or if it's safe or not, you can do what's called the copper test. Go to your local hardware store and get a, a little spiral case of copper like this. It's best if it's uncoated copper, but if it is coated, you can burn off the coating first uh, by putting it in the flame, taking it out, and then putting it back in the flame. So what you need to do is straighten this copper out. So just straighten one side out pretty far away from your hand and then use like a glove to be safe. Um, you're going to use a blowtorch and you're going to torch the end of this a little copper piece until it gets nice red and hot. Um, and then you're going to put it back in the, the, uh, the flame after you touch your material. So you're going to take that scolding hot copper wire, you're going to touch it on your material. So in this case, like the vinyl flooring. You're going to put it back in the flame. If the flame um, melts off the, the vinyl flooring and it comes out yellow, it's safe. If it comes out green or even a hint of green, then it's not safe. So here's a bigger uh, look at that green flame versus the yellow flame here. So if it comes out yellow, uh, like a yellow flame, like a normal blowtorch, you're good to go. If it comes out green or even a hint of green and you don't feel safe about it, don't put it in your machine. You could harm yourself, your family, or your machine itself with corrosion. Um, an alternative to like these vinyl records here is you can actually print out acrylic. Um, so you, you can actually cut out acrylic and make your own fake vinyl record to get that look. So here's a file that I offer on Etsy. If you want to support the channel and you want to buy this file, go check it out on Etsy. But this is just an example, you can make this on your own, where you just make a bunch of score lines on acrylic, and then I used wood veneer on the center for the label. That way everything is laser safe, and it looks just like an actual vinyl record. So you can make those cool looking clocks that you see on uh, online all the time. People who make those do not use these. And if they do use these with lasers, they should not be using this because this can cause all sorts of harm to yourself and your machine. Once again, do not use the real uh, vinyl records. Use a fake one made out of acrylic. As you can see, this is made out of acrylic and wood veneer. With that all out of the way, I hope this helped you guys out and you learned how to um, do a test on your materials to make sure they're safe. Um, 
The reason why it puts off that green flame that I was showing you, it means it contains uh, chlorine, and that is a chemical that releases that gas that's harmful. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.